What's going on, y'all? It's the kid, Jay Nolan here. Now, as y'all know, Meek Mill is always in the headlines. He's always making some outlandish statements on social media, whether it be Twitter fingers, Instagram, Instagram stories, whatnot. Like I said a couple days ago, he's been going at the industry for quite some time, going at the executives, all of the people that make the decisions, that actually disperse the payments. He hasn't been getting paid like he should off of music the way that he's seen fit. However, it seems that he cares about how he gets paid. He cares about how the rappers get paid, but it seems like he does not care about how sneaker vendors at the Got Soul convention get paid, okay? There's no equity in that. There shouldn't be no fight for that. Over the course of the last couple of days, there's been a couple of viral clips of Meek Mill out at the Got Soul convention out there in New York, right? And number one, the first clip that went viral was of him lowballing a young man, trying to get some J's out of him. The kid was selling them for about $500. Meek Mill said, I could get these retail 300 when I leave here. He then says, yo, I'm Meek Mill. You supposed to sell it to me for the low. You could get a commercial out me and then it could possibly lead to more business. Number one, you didn't say for sure that you would give him a commercial, right? You didn't say that you was going to come back and get more business from this kid or this man, let me stop calling him a kid. There's no guarantee in that. Whether he made 300 or 500, there's no guarantee that you're gonna come back and support him and his business and what he has going on. So you already know what you're doing, but you want some bullshit, right? So that clip went viral first. And a lot of people were basically on Meek Mill's side saying, oh, Meek Mill is out here trying to show this guy how to hustle, right? You can make 500 right now, or you can make 300 and get extra later. Next thing you know, there's another clip of Meek Mill at this very same convention, same hair out, same outfit, everything, where he's lowballing another vendor, right? This guy is out there selling dunks, right? And as y'all know, in today's society, dunks used to be cheap. You used to be able to get dunks for like $100, maybe $130. It's not like that no more, especially not the ones in high demand, not the ones that people actually want. Ain't no way you're getting dunks for $100. So this guy, you know, he's kind of just overtaken by the celebrity. He's lost in the sauce. He can't believe that Meek Mill is actually buying shoes from him. So he allows him to take advantage of the $100 price point. Meek Mill proceeds to buy about, eh, maybe it was about six or seven pairs. So he walks away. Meek Mill gets six or seven pairs of shoes for $100 each. He spends $700, walks away with more than what he actually bargained for because had this guy probably stuck to his price, he would have made probably double the money. He probably would have made close to $1,500, $1,600 had he stuck to his guns and kept his price. He walks away with $700 in his pocket, which is only two more than the original dude that stuck to his price. So that goes to show you, these people talk about showing you how to hustle, but where is the hustle? The hustle is about making money. The hustle is about resources. The hustle is about being able to maintain and keep your business open. The hustle is about making sure the next time that the Got Soul convention comes back, you're able to come back with your shit and have even more robust inventory, right? This time next year, the guy that got the seven pairs off, we don't know if Meek Mill's gonna do a commercial for him. I highly doubt that he is. Let's see if he even has another goddamn vendor table because he ain't make no money. And then you got all these people behind Meek Mill Shit, how many of them going to come up and say, hey, you already know my price, $100, let me get a pair. You've completely killed your weekend because now everybody's going to expect you to honor Meek Mill's price. I seen you give it to him for $100 a pair. Don't be trying to charge me $200 and $250. Don't try to charge me $350 because this is the new shit that's on demand. You know what I'm saying? Because you went to the sneakers app when it dropped and you happened to get a couple pair. Nah, I want the Meek Millie price. Niggas be out here fucking up the game, but then you want to act like you're a goddamn crusader. You want to act like you're a motherfucking revolutionary warrior. You care about this rap shit, but you don't care about niggas with the sneakers. If it was really that big of a deal, as far as the difference between three to $500, why did you show up? You knew that you was going to jug these young niggas because they ain't got no sense. You knew that they was going to fall victim to your celebrity. You knew that they were going to give you whatever you wanted, or you knew somebody in there was going to get whatever they wanted. You up in here with... $30,000, $40,000 watches, chains on, you done spent millions of dollars on jewelry, the shoes you probably have on your feet while walking through there probably costed you five, dollars $600, but you trying to lowball these regular everyday Joes trying to come up and sell some shoes at a convention. That's lame shit, man. I like Meek Mill's music. I always have. 
But as a person, it's so much flip-flopping, so much chameleon shit, you know what I mean? Like, I just can't tell who he is on a day-to-day -day basis. And a lot of shit he be doing is just hella weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the clips for y'all, just so you can see it in case you haven't already. On the store for the regular price. Why would I buy him here for 500? And give you a free commercial? That's a bad move. I gotta teach you how to hustle. You want the 500? So look, you want to give me a body for the store right now for 300. You want, you want 500? That's a bad move. I'm going to buy them from you, but that's a bad sell. You got to come down. I'm supposed to give it to Meek Mill for the low, get the commercial. Boom, I might come back and buy more, you know? Nigga talking about Mike. You got all this Mike to be trying to make this boy come down on this price. How many niggas have you lowered your feature price for when they requested it? Oh, Meek Mill, what's your price? Oh, man, you're going to have to pay me 40000 to get a verse. Shit, man. I'm I'm Joe Schmo from out of town, nigga. You should give it to me for the low. Do me for twenty five. I may come back, do the commercial. I might actually come back and do the music video with you. You're going to say, get the fuck out of my face. Come on, dog. Then, let's look at the sucker. Let's look at the one who actually fell for it. Oh, look. Yes, that's I buy good sneaks, but I just don't buy the super expensive good ones. So, like, well, that's what I'm saying. That's like three, two. For you? $100. Mm -hmm. Silly. What? With these? Uh, I thought you said $2,000. Let me get these all dead. You don't like these? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. That's right here. Give me all the good ones like that. Oh. The nap. Valentine's Day. Ten and a half. How much? Yeah. What? Like $100? That's a 10 and a half. How, How much? $100. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. What size is it? Meeks just popping up everything. Yeah. $200. Franco, just hold 10 and a half. What do you think of these? Yeah, bro. I don't wear them ones. I wear bad shoes. Fast. What's that? That's too simple, right? Yeah. Look, let me, like a hundred, like a hundred. Yeah. There you go. You just keep it. Yeah, yeah. Nigga shopping should be. Yeah, should be. This is easy. All that one time. <laughs> 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 He's just yeah. grabbing everything. Meek's going crazy. How much is these? Ten and a half, bro. How much? Not my price. Not oh. my price. Hundred dollars. Oh, right. Hundred dollars. <laughs> next. He said next. Yeah, keep it coming. It was good sales. I can tell who's smart, who not, how they selling their stuff. Right. I buy one stuff and like, yeah, oh, you sell me one thing for the high, uh, I might just buy right. and bring attention to the table. Right, where we at? How much? $100. $100, next. Ding, ding, we got to keep chinging these off. You like $100, right? Let me say, definitely. Yeah. $100. Check. Where we at? Check. Where we at? Oh, my fault. This nigga selling J's for $100 that you know you was going to have to pay for 500 for. So this is stupidity, man. It's been days. Where is Meek Mill's commercial with this nigga? Right? Meek Mill basically bought his whole table for a grand total of $1,200 when he could have made $3,000 to $4,000. Stupid. You ain't going to get no commercial. How you going to bring more attention to the table? How many more shoes they got for the other people? You just killed their profits for the day. They want to be down. You know what I'm saying? They want to suck up the Meek Mill. Next time the Got Soul convention come around, Meek Mill probably not going to be there. Y'all going to be there looking for him. And you're going to be sitting there like a kid waiting on his daddy to come home. Shit weird, man. But you know, they say they do anything for the clout. And of course, Meek Mill is going to be big, big up in this dude. He's talking about, yeah, this is how sneaker shopping should be. Yeah, I bet it is how sneaker shopping should be. Because you can't go no motherfucking where else and pull off this type of jug that you just did, bro. How, how dare you offer anybody that's not in a position like you, that's not a millionaire, you offer them $100 for shit that they spent three, four times the value on. What the fuck is up with that type of shit, man? Like, like, I understand rich people, they like deals too. Rich people be using, there's rich people, especially the white ones, still be using coupons and stuff when they go to the grocery store or when they go to different places. I understand keeping the wealth, but at a certain point, you also got to respect people's price, man. Tell about something, yeah, these normally would be anywhere between three, four, fifty, but for you, a hundred. A hundred dollars? Are you serious? You willing to go out of business to work with Meek Mill? I wouldn't even say work with Meek Mill, but to sell to Meek Mill for a day? Y'all got the game fucked up out here, man. And again, I'm passionate about this because can't nobody come to Meek Mill and do that type of shit about a feature verse. Can't nobody come to Meek Mill and do that type of shit to get him to come out on nobody's stage. You know what I'm saying? I understand he probably does free verses and free shows, for certain people in the industry, for certain companies, certain, you know, partnerships and stuff like that, because it comes with the territory. But today you're not finna just walk up to Meek Mill as a nigga off the street and just be like, hey bro, 
I got fifteen hundred for a feature. I know you charge thirty thousand, but shit, it's gonna be a good look. Nigga gonna have security come escort you up out his face. He might have a couple of his dream chaser niggas come jump your dumb ass. Like it's a series of things that could go wrong if somebody approaches him like that when he's walking around. If somebody came up to him at the Got Soul convention and said some shit like that to him, he gonna laugh him. He gonna laugh in their motherfucking face, and something probably gonna happen to the nigga that said it just out of street code. But. The white boys wanted to get hustled. They got hustled. So I guess it was mission accomplished. Meek Mill got all the shoes that he needed. He could do all the motherfucking music videos he want. He could go stunt on niggas all he want. You know what I'm saying? When he put together his next outfit of white tees and jeans. You feel me? Like, he got exactly what he wanted easily. Didn't have to heckle them. Didn't have to haggle them to bring the price down. The motherfucker just said, for you, $100. Stupid motherfuckers. But yeah, man, I mean, Meek Mill just makes it harder to like him every single day. He makes a statement that you resonate with and you be like, all right, there may be some sal there may be some salvation in this nigga. We might be able to salvage this motherfucker a little bit. Yeah. And then two days later, here we are again with some bullshit. I'm just going to goddamn remove my hands, let this nigga do what he do. And just keep continue to get my commentary. Who gives a fuck, right? Let me know what y'all think of this down below in the comments. Do you think that the first guy did right? Sticking to his price? Even though Meek Mill didn't like that shit, he still bought the shoes up on him. Still bought the shoes up off him. Gave him the full 500. He actually walked out with almost just as much money as the other vendor did. Even though the other vendor was willing to give up his whole table to make it. Or... Do you think the second vendor was right? Allowing Meek Mill to get the discounted price, walk out with bulk deals, and hopefully bring more people to the table, hopefully get him extra publicity that he wanted. I'm quite sure Meek Mill's not going to shout him out nowhere. I'm quite sure when Meek Mill wears these shoes somewhere, he's not going to tag the dude on Instagram and say, this is where I got him from. That's quote unquote commercial that he's talking about. I'm quite sure this recording is the only commercial that we know of. We don't know this nigga name. We don't know the name of they, they shoe vendor company or they shoe selling company. We don't know where they from. They might have flew out to New York and had to pay thousands of dollars for their team to be there just to lose money to Meek Mill. Do you think that was the right way? Do you think that's how to hustle in 2023? If I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go with the first nigga all day. Sometimes you got to put your nuts on the table, man, for better or worse. And I think... A lot of times hustlers, so-called hustlers, know that. The ones that's out here playing like this, they're not going to stay in business very long because how the fuck can you? But again, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates and I will see y'all on the next one. All right. Much love and respect. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace.